Now that is perfection. Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to do something that us Spanish folk, at least us Dominicans, call patelitos. I know in all different cultures, different people make these and they're called all different things. So comment down below if you know what they're called in a different culture. It'd be so interesting to read them. But yeah, so they're usually done with carne molida or ground beef. You could also do ground chicken. And some people even just make them with cheese on the inside, like mozzarella. Regardless, it's delicious. Today I'm going to make it with some pork just to switch things up and I'm going to tear it apart and everything and show you how to do that. So yeah, but if you wanted to make this with ground beef or chicken, feel free and let's get started. And just wanted to tell all of you who have been giving me your thoughtful ideas and also just words of encouragement. As you know, the girls just started school, their first week of school, they're in preschool and they've been doing kind of like a rocky start. So to all of you that gave us your great opinions and tips, Thank you so much. It has definitely been helping and we've been following through with your words of encouragement and ideas. So thank you for that. We are so, so, so appreciative of all of you. So let's get started. So one of the best things about patelitos is that they're so, so easy to make. This is everything that you're going to need for them. And like I said, you can use ground beef or some ground chicken or just cheese, completely up to you. I'm going to use this pork loin, which you guys know I had gotten from Save-A-Lot in that Save-A-Lot in Publix video haul that I did. So if you guys missed that, go ahead and check it out. It only cost me $5.36. So I'm going to tear that apart with my little ninja that I have. Then I also have these patelito shells. They're pretty much just the dough to make them, the masa. And these were only about $1.69 or so also in that video. So don't forget to check it out. I'll put a link on the top and also at the bottom. And the seasonings are very simple. We just use some adobo, some garlic, and some onion. And if you don't like some of these, like garlic or onion, really you could just take it out. And you could honestly make your own adobo. It's really just some salt, some oregano, and I think garlic. So yeah, let's get started.
there it is guys i hope you like this video now you know how to make some patelitos and like i said the sky is the limit you could put on the inside whatever you want even shrimp honestly if you want to hey have fun with it i hope you enjoyed this if you did don't forget to give a thumbs up along the bottom don't forget to subscribe because we make a ton of different videos including more cooking videos so check out our channel down below and don't forget to turn on your notification bell that way you get notified when we upload new videos like this every tuesday and thursday at 3 p.m and we upload bonus videos too sometimes which is why you need the notification bell on so yeah guys thanks so much for watching don't forget to stay happy stay safe and enjoy the rest of your day because after all it's no one else's and it's uniquely yours bye guys